The company got its start in 1953 when my dad came in, uh, in partnership with some of the Thompson family, uh, the family that was responsible for getting Southland going. They came to Oklahoma and uh, dad picked out a site and opened up his first store back in 1953. And I think over the history of our company, we've probably built in excess of a couple hundred stores, but we have 111 operating today. And uh, part of our program is to rebuild uh, existing stores uh, to you know, give them a, more of a future uh, if it's if possible. What's unique about this store starts when you come in off the street. Uh, nothing on the forecourt, nothing in the building itself looks similar to anything that we've done in, in our market prior. The building is uh, taller. It's 5,600 square feet compared to anywhere from 2,400 to 4,400 feet prior to that. Every light in the building is LED. The open ceiling uh, just gives the whole building a different feel uh, when you come in. Uh, we've got a full kitchen in the center of the store that's kind of a focal point when you walk in. There's just nothing about this store that looks similar to uh, our existing stores. Uh, we have Center Island checkouts in, in our legacy stores and these checkouts are right at the front of the store. Um, we have two entrances like we've always had. Um, future iterations might have more than two entrances but colors, finishes, gondola fixtures, ceiling treatments, LED lighting, floor material, everything's different. There was nothing that we weren't willing to try uh, the first go around, so we experimented a lot. I remember back to uh, addressing orientation classes that when you start work for our company, you start in our office and you go through an orientation class. And uh, I, I made the grave error of telling people at one point that we would never cook in our stores. Probably back when we were about to open up the bakery. Uh, we knew that uh, logistics were such that we could, there was an advantage in, uh, in preparing centrally and delivering every day. And um, so I made the mistake of thinking that we would never be cooking in our stores and uh, now we're cooking in our stores. Coffee is a focal point on purpose because we've built a, a strong following in this market for our 100% Colombian coffee and uh, we've expanded to Coffees of the Americas, so we offer, I think our, we have offer eight different coffee varieties. It's a big draw in the morning, and, and it's, it's important that people see it when they come in the door. Just as important as that they see uh, the fact that we're in the hot food business. The store opened, I think, in year, uh, year six of a three-year plan. It's one of five uh, of its kind, and it's the future uh, footprint that we're using. Um, we decided at one point that we really needed to shock the company, let everybody know inside the company that, uh, that we're taking a different direction. And uh, we knew that that was going to be inside as well as outside. What we came up with was something that we thought uh, would, could be an expansion of our offer, fresh food, and uh, also something that would just be a little bit more experiential for customers, something they get, get excited about. Uh, that's very, very different. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't compare by any stretch to anything that we had done prior. And so far it's working. People are really, really responding. It's, it's, a, it's a fun store to work in. I don't worry about having, finding enough to sell uh, regards to the size of our footprint. We still uh, focus on the neighborhood that surrounds each store immediately first and then local trade and traffic and uh, you know, people who work nearby second. And so we hope that we'll be meeting grocery needs again like we did 40 years ago uh, before you know it because some of that space can be devoted to good grocery fill-in if you can get products to the stores economically. And we think we do that. We've just got great economics. No two stores in our system are more than 50 minutes apart on the road. And uh, so that's a, that's a pretty high concentration of stores and uh, we serve a tremendous number of neighborhoods.